The Ministry of Sports, Arts and Culture has gazetted the Anti-Doping Agency of Kenya, ADAC. The ADAC board will be chaired by former sports PS, James Waweru, with board members being Dr. Somain Ismail, retired marathoner Douglas Wakihuri, Alex Tunoi and Professor Moni Wekesa. Shockingly, for the last 50 years, there has not been a body to deal with doping issues in Kenya. ADAC's mandate is to conduct tests in conjunction with relevant bodies, educate sports people, and create doping awareness. You can't be firefighting. You can't be running around with uh, you know, buckets of water and all that. Uh, you need to have systems put in place. In this regard, a three-day consultative workshop is ongoing at a Nairobi hotel. The meeting brings together officials of China and Norway anti-doping agencies, representatives from World Anti-Doping Agency WADA, and government officials in sports. What Kenya has done... Um, is, is definitely uh, progress. It's positive progress. Our role as Anti-Doping Norway is to give guidance and assistance in how to set up and run a robust anti-doping program for Kenya. The Gazette of ADAC comes in the wake of increased reports of doping in Kenya, especially by athletes. Multiple Boston and Chicago Marathon winner Rita Jepto is currently awaiting sentencing after testing positive for EPO. Reports indicate she may be banned for two years. The scourge of doping has hung over Kenyan sports for a while now. It is hoped that this three-day consultative meeting between the Kenyan government, Trinada and anti-doping Norway will help firm up the administrative and legislative policy to fight doping in the country. Warote Kiru, NTV.